of oxalic acid required to give my concentration times my volume, right? Concentration is over when my volume is 
the squirt pipe to squirt around the sides because I want to make sure that any oxalic acid that's left on the sides of the funnel also goes in. I need to ensure that all the mass I weighed out actually gets in. drops. Say two or three. Okay, now I always use three because I like to see very obvious color. But you can see even with one drop, have a look we went from clear to pink. Okay. Unknown solution NAOH, our aim in this titration is to work out the concentration of it. We're going to do that by neutralizing it with an acid, in this case oxalic acid. Now, we know this, the exact concentration of this oxalic acid because we made the solution ourselves from scratch. We started off with, I was really aware of approximately 1.5 grams of oxalic acid. We were then able to use that mass to work out the moles, work out the concentration and everything. Okay? So now we're going to do a neutralization reaction between oxalic acid, sodium hydroxide, and what we're going to do is using these burette, we're going to measure how much uh, oxalic acid is needed. Now we know we have 20 milliliters of sodium hydroxide in here. Once we know the amount of oxalic acid we did, we're going to be able to do some mole calculations and I'll show you guys that. And we'll be able to then work out the exact concentration of NaMH. I started noticing small color too, so I'm going to stop, swirl it around again. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely overshot there. But that's alright, because it's my rough starter. Alright, so it came out to be about 17. I have to add about 17 months. So now I know that next time I do my titration, I'll be able to go to maybe 14, 15 months. Okay, I can just let it flow. Nothing should happen. 